Well, an uncertified lithium ion battery to blame for yet another deadly fire, this time in Brooklyn. An apartment in Brighton Beach going up in flames, and Fox 5 cameras got inside today to look at the damage done. All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chen live for us with this story. Arthur. Well, Steve, Natasha, even though the fire is on the back side of this building, we can smell uh, the remnants of a out here. And that door is open, by the way, propped open to air out a building because if you take two steps inside, the smell becomes pretty much overpowering. But perhaps the most devastating part of this is that one person is dead tonight and three others hurt for a problem the city has been aware of and been trying to solve for years now. You can hear Larissa Yaneva's anguish in her trembling voice. She's on the phone with her daughter, suffering from fourth degree burns on her back and legs, making one last call as doctors are about to operate on her. How are they in the doing? hospital. It's uh, not good, you know, for arm problem and back problem, mm -hmm. two weeks in hospital. Larissa lives on the same floor as her daughter and grandchildren who also live with Larissa's 69-year-old ex-husband. While they live in separate apartments, just before 4 a.m. this morning, a fire broke out in her daughter's unit with five people at home at the time. Fire marshals pinpoint the cause as this electric sit-down scooter in the 69-year-old grandfather's room, which contained an uncertified lithium-ion battery. The occupants were home at the time of the fire. Uh, they heard the battery fail. It made a noise. They attempted to extinguish that fire. Clearly were unable to extinguish the fire. Uh, the device was blocking uh, the egress of the person that succumbed from their injuries. Damage to apartment 2A shows how bad conditions got inside, including in the toddler's room. With the parents hospitalized now, the children, a two-year-old and nine-year-old, are staying with grandmother Larissa. Okay, I'm going to buy clothes for child, you know, but they don't have clothes, nothing. The fire department and the city continues to struggle with the use of uncertified lithium-ion batteries. And while fatalities have fallen since last year, the number of fires is about the same, indicating many New Yorkers are heeding the warning not to charge them at home, but are still buying the devices. And while non-certified devices are cheaper, the cost here on Brighton 3rd Street is devastatingly high. It's easy to use for people, yeah, but you see what can happen. Now, fire officials today wanted to make a point to warn New Yorkers that these lithium ion batteries, once it catches fire, are incredibly difficult to put out, even for firefighters. They suggest New Yorkers use that time to evacuate their uh, homes or also make sure that their neighbors get out safely. That's the latest from here in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn. Arthur Tree on Fox 5 News. Steve, back to you.